Um, here she is. Right. This is not on. You told Mum you'd text her. You didn't. You said you'd be at the Vex house. You weren't. We were worried about you, Donna. Is everything okay? Just a moment, Ash. I'm not finished. Where the hell were you, Donna? Where are your friends? What prevented you giving us even a courtesy text? I'm really, really sorry. It won't happen again. I had to come out here this late. I have work in the morning. Mum's got enough on her plate. You were out with Vivek again, right? Where is he? He's just hanging out. I wonder how Vivek's dad feels about his son staying out all hours. Why don't I ask him while we're here? I bet he'll appreciate me knocking on his door in the middle of the night. We shouldn't bother Vivek's dad. He's poorly. He's got, um, gingivitis or something. Babe, it's pretty late. Perhaps we should all just go home. Oh, perfect. My fiance's taking your side now. I don't know what's happened with you, Donna. You're always in your head. You're never at home. You never help around the house. Okay, I get it. I'm a total screw up. Are you happy now? Let's just talk about this in the morning. Fine. I've done all I can. You two can sort it out amongst yourselves. I know Em can come on a bit strong at times, but she loves you. She has your best interests at heart. I know, Ash, but can we please just drop it, though? You seem a bit anxious. Has something happened? I'm not your sister. I'm not going to ask where you were. But you can always tell me if you're in trouble. Really, I'm fine. I love your sister, Donna. I just want us all to be safe and get along. Yep, sounds good. You're sure nothing happened tonight? There's nothing wrong? A hundred percent. Okay. Let's get ourselves home before I get a scolding too. Go back, go back. Did you look both ways before you crossed the street? Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll ask 
said I was supposed to go over here, not in the street. You seen that Bill and Wendy are going out together? I thought they were already seeing each other. No, they've been seeing each other for a bit, but now they're actually going out. Bill's such a player. I wonder how long that will last. He's all right. Bit of a pretty boy, though. I think I lent him my copy of FIFA at some point. Moises' party tomorrow. Thought you guys were dead. How come you didn't text me back? We had to go off the grid. I smashed my phone so they couldn't use my GPS. My phone's out of battery. How did it go with your sister? Things are getting a bit tense at home. It couldn't be worse timing, to be honest. Why? What's wrong? Nah, forget it. It's fine. Has he said anything yet? Not a peep. He just sat there staring at us. Pretty weird. I didn't dare sleep. I don't trust Viv's not tying skills. Okay, let me say something right quick. All right, they had a FIFA reference in this game. I don't know if they have an, uh, a tie to EA or something. And also, side note, how did this guy get dressed while tied up? Remember, this guy was like half naked, tied up. Now he has a suit on tied up. Would they untie him, dress him, and tie him back up? Like, bro, this makes no sense. But like, let, let's just go with it. Let's go with it. <laughs> How can you think of food right now? We've been here all night. I'm pretty hungry too. Okay, let's get some supplies. We could do it tying the fella up a bit more securely. Cool. Becky, you stay here. Me and Viv will head out. Hang on, that's bullshit. You just got here. How about you stay and me and Viv go? It's cool. I'll watch him. You both go and bring back some food and some zip ties or something. All right, what else? Come on already, I'm getting hangry. Late one last night then. What did you and Vivek talk about? Didn't mention anything about me to your sister last night, yeah? No, I told you, and it's fine. Just it was self-defense, yeah, and he's not dead or anything, so it's not even a crime really. Well, I'm actually holding him hostage, but, um... Becky, I didn't say anything. It was Viv's idea to tie him up. And if you hadn't got stuck on that fence or whatever, we wouldn't even be in this situation. Mr. Hughes is going to make a call that we have much more time off school. Screw school. It's the least of our problems. So what are we getting again? Some stuff to tie the guy up with and some sort of weapon. Yeah. Uh, why don't you leave the talking to me? As if I would actually say it like that. Hi. Can I have a Stanley knife, uh, a roll of duct tape and a bunch of double thick zip ties? <laughs> How old are you? Should you two be in school? It's a teacher training day. Mm, right. Wear your school uniform every day, do you? Listen, we just want this stuff and we'll leave. If you want to dob us into our school, go ahead. We don't care. Well, maybe a little. I'm just pulling your leg, girls. I did my fair share of skiving when I was your age. But I can't sell you this knife. You're not old enough. Oh, come on. Sorry. That went well. Oh, it's fine. I nicked all that stuff when we first looked in there, just in case. Oh, you little thief! Come on, let's not hang about. I'm not exactly thrilled about walking around town with all this murder station on us. Mr. Hughes. What are you two doing here? Why aren't you at school? Ah, yeah. 
Uh, sorry, we're just running a bit late. Um, Becky uh, wanted some company regarding a medical issue. Nothing serious, just a bit, you know, uh, personal. Right. Thanks, Donna. I take it you got permission to leave the school premises? I'll make a phone call to your form tutors to check, shall I? Donna? Hang on a second. Oh, for Pete's sake. Family problems? Look, I don't have time for this. Just get back to school and we'll talk about this another time. Too close. You've got crap chat, that's your problem. Piss off. I got us out of that, didn't I? Yeah, well done. Come on, let's just get some food and go back. Do you think it would be weird if I asked Vivek out? Whoa! Out of nowhere? Yeah, he's a sweetie. Would it be weird? I don't know. Might be a bit weird. Up to you. That's what I thought too at first. But opposites can attract, can't they? And I could use a good roll around. What's up? You've gone quiet. I'm fine. Don't be weird. What's going on? Sorry. I'm just worried about the stranger and stuff. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. Shit! We forgot to get Viv anything to eat. Oh, just don't mention it to him. He's probably forgotten anyway. Hey! Donna forgot to get you any food. Hey! We both forgot. No worries. Probably should head back anyway. I'll get food at home. I bought some cable ties and a box cutter. Okay. I guess we can tie them up a bit more securely. Okay, he's not going anywhere for now. I think I'll keep hold of that lead pipe all the same. I really need to go. Me too. Need to figure out a good excuse where I've been on the way home. I'll walk with you. Donna, you okay staying here while we're gone? Yeah, I'll be fine. We'll be back as soon as we can. I just need to make an appearance for Dad. Did he say anything while you were looking after him? Nope. I did try talking to him, but not a word. Hey, hot stranger. We're going now. Please don't eat our friend. I'll see you both later then. Bye, Donna. Come on, Viv. So this man went like two days without eating. You're not gonna give him a, a Twinkie or anything, or you know. Oh, this is stupid. We should have just called the police last night. Probably would have got away with a caution, maybe an ASBO at most. I think that ship sailed now, hasn't it? What do you think? Yeah, that's what I thought. You're gonna be quiet the whole time? You've scared of me or something? Or is that your tactic? To throw me off guard? Yeah, that's your plan, isn't it? To hope that I'll feel guilty and set you free. For what it's worth, I am sorry that you're in this situation. It's not ideal for either of us.
Is Becky your friend? So you can speak, and apparently you know Becky. Is Becky your friend? Yeah. I mean, do you know Becky? Of course. What? How? She hit me. She's why I'm with you now. Oh, sorry, I, I misunderstood. So you don't know her from before last night? Could I stretch my legs a moment? Never gonna happen. I would have asked your friends last night, but they were too deep in their own conversation. What were they talking about? My legs are stiff. All right, fine. You can walk around for a bit, but no funny stuff. And try speaking more normally. I can try. I must be out of my mind. <sighs> Hold still. So, what were Becky and Vivek talking about? They were very animated with each other. Animated about what? This matters to you, doesn't it? Not really. Just trying to make conversation. It's not going well. Do you find it difficult opening up to people? What is this therapy? Please, I'm getting enough of that from my sister. Emma? Huh? You mentioned her last night. Oh, right. The phone call. <laughs> Bit nosy, aren't you? I'm interested. I'm interested. You know how condescending that sounds? It's exactly the sort of crap Emma would say, just to piss me off. I see. Yeah, well, I can't wait until I'm 18. I'm gonna move out, get a flat with my friends, you know, not deal with her crap. Sounds like you hate her. No, that's a bit much. I don't know. Family, eh? You'd be better on your own. What are you saying? I think I'd like to sit down now. Oh. Sure, okay. Can I ask you a question? Of course.
Was I imagining things last night? Or did you do something incredibly strange to the water? The whole room lit up. I enjoyed our talk earlier. Stop trying to change the subject. If you promise not to tell anyone, maybe I could show you. Okay. Go for it. Come a little closer. Hey! Aw, oh, you ruined it. <laughs> Come on, what are you waiting for? Uh, are you all right, Donna? Oh, come on. Show me, then. Okay. Getting a little weird in here. So now you've gone quiet all of a sudden? Because of Becky? Don't worry, she's not going to hurt you. Stop pissing around. It's not funny. We're in some real shit here, Donna. <laughs> All right, whatever. You can look after him then. Is Viv on his way? No, I texted to say he was in ship with his dad. Oh. I guess that's to be expected. How long are we going to keep this up? Moise is throwing a sick house party tonight. Everyone's going to be there. I guess we should probably talk it through when we're all here. I gotta go, Becky. I'll be back tomorrow. Hey, Ash. Where is everybody? Your mum was feeling a bit poorly, so took herself to bed. Emma's out at the moment. Oh. Hope mum's okay. Sorry I'm late. I had to stay after school. Okay, well, I think I'll go straight to bed. I'm shattered. How was school today? School? Yeah, school was really good. I thought if you had to stay late, you must have had detention. Nah, not detention. I just decided to do my homework in the library instead. Where's your school bag, Donna? Must have left it somewhere. Oh, I see you've decided to grace us with your presence. She's been doing her homework at school, apparently. Is Mum all right? She's fine. By the way, thanks for cooking dinner tonight. We all really enjoyed it. Someone's in a bit of a mood. Uh, perhaps give your sister some space this evening, Donna. Look, I just asked if Mum was okay. Why are you on my case about it? I've enough to worry about without dealing with you again tonight, Donna. You're late home again. After all the palaver of last night. Oh, I was at the cinema with Becky and Vivek. I, I thought you said you were doing your homework. It's always Becky and Vivek beginning to think they matter more to you than your own family. Oh, sick of this. I'm going out. Where are you going? Oh, none of your damn business! Vivek, leave a message. Becky, why aren't you answering your phone? I'm coming over now. Hope you're okay.
What are you doing back here? It's all right, we can swap. Feel free to go to Moise's party. Seriously? Yeah, go and have fun. Awesome. Anything interesting happened while I was gone? Nah, you heard from Viv. I wonder if he can make Moises too. Dunno, haven't heard from him in a while. I'll give him a call. Phone working now then. What? I tried calling you earlier. Oh right, yeah, I'd switched it off to save battery. We should probably leave our phones on at all times from now on. Okay, cool. See you later. You seem upset. I'm fine. Is it your sister? Are you thick or something? Oh, get the hint. I thought we could continue our conversation from earlier. <sighs> okay. Let's get some things straight here. I'm not your mate. We're not going to be friends at the end of this. So you should be careful about pissing me off right now. Unless you want to see the bottom of that pool. I understand. You just sit there and be quiet. Donna? This is my knife. You asked me a question yesterday. This doesn't make sense. Your hands have been tied the whole time. You wanted to see what it is that I can do. Do you still want to see? Yes. Then loosen my restraints. A suspicion you were keeping a secret. I was worried about you. So I followed you down here, waited outside to see if you'd come out. For a moment and we can sort this out. I need to get Emma. Ash, wait! Oh my god, someone stop her! Please, Ash! Stop a second! I can explain everything! Alright guys, I'm out this that was a good episode. The game should have just been about Donna. That's it, and just make it really long. Alright, they should have just done that, to be honest. Um 
I have a feeling these two won't be that interesting. It'll kind of feel like a chore to me. I don't know. But I think Donna's story is really cool so far. But anyways, I'm out of this video. So y'all holly, man. We're going to get through this. Y'all holly.